Hey, what's up, guys? This is Guillermo Auto. I'm doing rear brakes on a 2011 Jeep Patriot. Uh, I'm just doing the pads, replacing the pads, and um, not doing anything with the rotors. So, what we need is a 14 millimeter, a 13 millimeter, something to depress the piston, and a needle nose pliers. If you have some, if not, you'll still be all right. Okay, so uh, first thing you want to do is come to the bottom of the uh, caliper and get this bottom caliper bolt out. Go ahead and go right here. This is a 14 millimeter. So bust that loose. Go ahead and undo this and get it out. Okay, so I got that out. I'm going to set it aside right there. Uh, next, get a 13 millimeter socket or wrench and uh, we're going to get this nut off that holds the brake line right here and the reason for that is because it's easier to get the caliper off with this loose i'll show you what i mean we'll put that aside so i lift this up off the stud and then we're going to get this kind of freed up and then that way when we come here to lift this up and pull it out of the um pull it out of the uh caliper bracket I have a little more wiggle room. I just wiggle this back and forth and keep pushing until I uh, get it out. It is kind of awkward to get out. It's kind of a tight spot, but as you can see, I can get it out. And then I rest it over here on the knuckle. Um, you know, just so it's not hanging or anything like that. It's out of the way. So go ahead and get that. Now, get your pad out right here. Now, if you're just doing a pad slap, you could just throw some new pads in right now. Um, take note of this uh, sensor and this metal little plate on the pad here. Basically, those need to go on the, your new pads. Um, like I said, I'm not taking the rotor off. I don't even know really how to. I don't know if this has to come off to get it off. Uh, this, is, this video is just for putting new pads in. I will take this bracket off, however, to uh, clean it and lube it up. Um, but I'm going to use an on-the-car rotor cutter to uh, cut this rotor. So you have to find a different video or source to how to get the rotor off. It might just come off. I'm not sure. Anyways, we'll go ahead and get this bracket off. There's a 14 millimeter as well. Just bust the bolts loose. Get these out right here. We set these aside. We'll reuse these bolts. All right. And um, if you knock this little rubber thing off, it's not a big deal. Just make sure to get it back on before we go back together. And I took this off so I can clean these little hardwares. I'm actually going to be replacing mine, but if you don't have new ones, you can just replace them. And just, I'm going to show you how to lube this. So if you don't have any new hardware, you can just clean your current hardware. Hardware is just the little metal tabs on the thing. It's these things. I have new ones. Uh, it's referred to as hardware. I, I just pull them off with these uh, needle nose pliers. You could use your fingers if, if you have to. See these old ones are kind of rusty. You could clean them or just put new ones on. If you got cheap, cheap new ones, like you could tell it's cheap, I would just reuse the old ones. But these ones are fine. Get these on like that. And then um, I do is I take this rubber part off. And I, sh and I put the uh, lube in the hole on the bracket. And when you go to put this back on, the, the rubber part with the bigger side goes on to connect it. I put this in here. The reason why I don't just put this in the rubber part is sometimes when I push the pin in, it'll just push the lube out the sides instead of going in the hole. So I did that for both. All right, now I have machined my rotor with this on the car cutter. I got my um, bracket all lubed up and cleaned up. I'm going to go ahead and put it back on using that 14 millimeter bolt. All right, so I just my hand tighten these in, and I'm gonna come through with a wrench and uh, tighten them down. My 14 millimeter wrench, tighten them down. I'll put some torque specs on the screen. People are using torque wrenches too. If you don't have a torque wrench, just get them tight, and you'll be all right. All right, and then uh, so here's my new pads. Basically, get this metal metal uh, plate off the old pad, put it on your new one. If you're dealing with the uh, OEM pads here, OEM as in like Chrysler pads, um, and you gotta switch the sensor over. If you're dealing with aftermarket pads, you might already have this stuff on it, so you know, just be the judge of that. All right, so we'll get this tab on. You could bend the sides of the tab if you need to to make it stay on, and then um, put this sensor on right here. Make sure it goes on the bottom, like where the bottom's gonna be, because the bottom of the pad wears out the fastest. And the, uh, and now what I like to do is just take a little brake loop and put it on the edges here. Just where it's going to be like, you know, moving and contacting the hardware. So just prevent any like squeaks or something like that. Matters. But don't get it on the pad material. That's no good. Now before we put our pads in, we got to depress this uh, caliper piston. So you could use a, uh, I'll get this pad out right here. But you could use a caliper piston tool like this one. Or if you got like giant channel lock, you can use it. Just push the piston in very gently and slowly. And uh, there's all kinds of different methods you can look up on Google to do it. You know, I have a cool. 
So get my new outer pad in right here, like that. And then the inner pad is just gonna go right here on the bracket. Uh, remember, try to keep the side with the sensor towards the bottom, because that's what wears out the fastest. And then you can put a little lube on this pin right here. Just like kind of, just kind of coat it a little bit. And then this will go back in. Uh, this could be kind of like a wrestling match. It feels kind of unnatural to wrestle this in, I know. Um, but that's just the way I'm doing it in this video. And then uh, the outer pad should be attached to the caliper, so I'll put that on. And then don't forget to put this on. You can keep that off too when you're putting it on. So we got it on. Put a little lube on the pin. We'll go ahead and get this in. Slide it in right here. Push it in, and then we'll tighten this down. Try to get some uh, torque specs on this as well. So we'll get this in and uh, tighten that down. And uh, then we'll come over here, get this 13 millimeter nut back on. Make sure that uh, goes down all the way. All right, tighten that down. All right, and that's it, guys. So make double check everything. Make sure your bolts are all tight. Make sure your brake line's not twisted or nothing. Hope this video helped you out. Please like, comment, subscribe. Any additional information in the comments is appreciated. I'll see you next video.